Are they spiky? Alan. No, they're just a bit rough. It's like a cat that has cleaned itself. <laughs> Can you pet him? Can you pet him? No, they don't like to be petted. <laughs> Two baby ones in the air in the box. What's that? Yeah, two baby ones in the air in the box. Look at that. 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 Look at
And do you guys know that meerkats wear sunglasses? Do you believe me? Yes. You do? <laughs> Why do you think they wear sunglasses? Um, because the rings around their eyes help them see from far distances and keep um, the sun away from their eyes. You're very right. Good job. Do you want to come do the talk? <laughs> what else do you know about meerkats? Do you nothing know? Really. Nothing really? I'll tell you something else that's really interesting about them. They actually have fingerprints. They're just not the same kind of fingerprints that we have. Theirs are based on the stripes on their back. So every single meerkat in the world has a different stripe pattern. And it's pretty much the equivalent of the way that we have different fingerprints. So you'd think maybe we use that to tell them apart, but pretty much as easy telling them apart by their stripes as me coming up to you and looking at your hands and going, oh, I know who you are. So what we do is we identify them with a couple of little looks. Hello. So in our group, we've got the two uncles, two males, and then we have a female, and she's our breeding female. She's also what we call the alpha female. What are you looking for? <laughs> and uh, her name is Feta. Now, in a group of meerkats, you normally only have one breeding female. And if there's another one in the group and she has babies, she tends to get excluded and she gets kicked out of the group. And uh, we actually had that happen here at Wellington Zoo. We did have another female who had some babies. And our group decided that she wasn't going to be part of them anymore. So they didn't let her sleep with them. They didn't let her eat with them. So because we don't have a lot of meerkat mobs, hanging around Wellington. We actually had to ship her on a plane up to Auckland and she's part of their meerkat group now. What are you looking for? What's up? Very interested in something. I'm not sure what it is though. <laughs> what? Does anyone have any questions about meerkats? You do? What's your question? They can dig. We don't have big claws like they do. No. Do we use our tails to stand up? We don't have tails. Are you sure? Some of you look like monkeys to me. <laughs> Lifespan? Um, it's about 13 to 14 years on average. So. Uh, they're still fairly young. They're about five. So. These ones here are juveniles, so we actually only have three adults in our group at the moment. If you came to the zoo about four months ago, you would have noticed we had a way more meerkats than here. We had about 19 of them, and we actually had to send some away to other zoos. So about six of them went to Arana Park and a few over to Australia because there were so many that they were getting into a lot of little arguments and tiffs and fights, and we had a lot of scratches that ended up down in the hospital. So. Um, sent some away and now the group's expanding again with the new babies but our uh, our mum Feta is really good at breeding she's had 21 babies in her lifespan so far and last year she had three litters right after one another so the gestation period for these guys is just about three months and uh, as soon as she gave birth she was actually pregnant the very next day so <laughs> Three times in a row. <laughs> Kept coming. Yeah, a bit of a surprise. And I'm thinking this might be her here now. And she's actually starting to look a little bit round again. <laughs> I've just noticed it today. So we may have some babies, some more babies in a couple of months. Anyone else have any questions? So that's kind of short gestation period. Yeah. yeah. On average, they'll have anywhere between two and four babies. She seems pretty set on having three babies each litter, so not necessarily all of them will survive because animals like these have more babies in the hopes that at least one will survive. But um, lately, we've been doing really, really well, so we keep having more and more of them. What's up? You keep looking at me like that. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> all right, guys, well, um, Ask me any other questions you might have, come and have a chat about our meerkats. But we have a couple of other talks happening very shortly. So at 12 o'clock is our chimpanzee talk. It's a really fun one to go to. They get their lunch and they're normally pretty excited about it. And then at 12.30 just up the hill is our giraffe talk. And you guys actually get to hand feed them yourselves. 
Now giraffes can be a little bit fussy. They uh, weren't very hungry yesterday, so hopefully they're hungry today and they come over, but definitely lots of fun. Just be prepared for a sloppy wet giraffe kiss. <laughs> they're a bit smelly and a bit wet. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> You're very focused on me today. Thanks guys and I hope you uh, learned some things about meerkats today. Thank you. What have you got? You want them to have a little sip of it? Yeah. Pass it up lady. Show it to them. Show it to the meerkats. Yeah, no, give it to the lady and the lady will... Let's see. <laughs> there you go. Oh, by me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't <be> smelly yet. <laughs> Your cats are pretty smelly little creatures. This is the one that's staring at me so much. <laughs>